Panthers. 7-10 and 10 last year, and once again, as we said the last couple of days, this division was awful. They had a chance. All they had to do was win that last uh, – no, God, I keep thinking they had to win. There was one – oh, no, no, it wasn't the last game of the season. The Saints it was whoever – no, the if the Saints would have won and the I think the Saints won and the Bucks lost, the Saints would have got in because the Bucks lost. Okay. Then yeah, but then the Panthers beat the Saints too, so it wound up putting the Bucks in. If I gotcha. remember correctly, but it also was Week 17. The game that game Week 17, uh, you controlled your fate at that point. Right, right. Because they, the they beat the Panthers in Carolina the earlier in the year. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, division sucked. <laughs> it's not a good gonna season. Suck, gonna suck worse. Gonna suck worse. Um, some things that they did in the off season of highlight. Uh, they hired. They, well, when did Matt Rule get fired? Uh, it was around. It it wasn't very far into the season. I mean, probably the first six weeks. I think you're I got, right because they're they were one and five. I want to say that after, sounds about yeah. right. Yeah, I think was he when first they, coach fired. I believe he was. I, I think he was. I think he could got some good odds. He may have that. even got fired. I don't even think it was the uh, – I think he got fired after that San Francisco game, maybe. No, I think it was after what, the was Rams. It Los was it after the I Rams? think it was after the Rams because this is when we knew the Rams were bad and then they even got blown out by the bad Rams. That's what it was. Yeah, that was the straw that broke the camel's back. You're right. You're yeah, right. because then because then I remember – because yeah. Yeah, because I remember, oh, my God, this team's a mess, and um, I, I bet on Tampa Bay, and then Tampa Bay lost to – the firing like sparked sparked the Panthers to go out and beat Tampa. That was a fucking frustrating game. Yep. Yep. <sighs> yep. Tell me about it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so yeah, Carolina Panthers. Um, some of the big things that they did in the offseason was getting Frank Reich. So he's coming in. I think it was a good hire. I like Coach Reich. Absolutely. Um, and then yeah, and then we can get into it. Any takeaways from their season last year? They got a good uh, defense. They have, they have very good defense, man. They you know we'll get into their off season free agent stuff in a little bit, but it uh there weren't very many expect expectations there. They got rid of you know, trading Christian McCaffrey, which was a big deal. It's kind of the splash of their oh, season. Oh, Yeah, year. yeah. They kind of were sellers. It was crazy that they were sellers mm-hmm. and then they ended up having a chance to make the playoffs. Yeah, I know, right? That's what I'm saying. I bet they're like, damn, I wish we could have some of these pieces back in these must win games. I think that's what happened too. Week six is they that's when they traded McCaffrey too. Because I was like, Oh god, they're definitely not gonna beat Tampa Bay. And then yeah, because McCaffrey played against the 49ers in that game mm-hmm. and they wound up getting traded a couple weeks later. So yeah, but no, it, uh I mean they kind of uh, performed above expectations last year, getting to seven and ten. It's kind of crazy. You think about that, like you got above went above your expectations, but your head coach still got fired. Yeah. Granted, he didn't win most of those games, <laughs> so no, he did not. No, he did not. Who did they get in return for McCaffrey? Do you remember that trade? What the details were? I do not. I do not, sir. You can probably pull it up right now. Yeah, huh? but as you can say, I um, I am not sure what the details were. I mean, I'm sure they had to probably some draft compensation and all that. Let's see, Pro Football Talk Network. Who were the real winners? In the McCaffrey trade, let's see. Hey yo, um, McCra- McCaffrey was traded on October twentieth. Maybe I was wrong on that. Was that in October? Yeah, that was right right after right after the Rams. Yep. Damn it, chicken! I fired the coach and clean house all in the same three four yeah. days. <laughs> Carolina Panthers received a second round, a third round, a fourth round, and a fifth round. Okay, so they didn't get any players. All right, they got picks. Four draft picks. Yeah. Is, is McCaffrey due for a contract extension? Is his contract almost yes. up? Okay. Yes. Yes. That's probably why they were, yeah. Figured they might as well get something yeah. for it. They yeah. I think this they is... didn't take the Angels. They didn't take the Angels' advice. They didn't try to go for it, man. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Uh... Let's see. McCaffrey contract. I don't think they got an extension done. Nope, just nobody, yet. Nobody gonna pay them running backs, man. I just like if I was Christian McCaffrey, I'd be like, I'll tell you what, man, can just just list me as a wide receiver. Just list, um, give me wide receiver money. Yeah, so technically the Niners could have cut him this season, this offseason. 
No, I, I, but he he does have he does have contract through 2025. So yeah, he signed a four year, 64 million dollar contract back in uh, 2020. Yeah, or 2022? No, 2022. So last year. So yeah. Oh, so yeah, okay. he got yeah. He just just played one year in that deal. Yeah, they ain't gonna cut him. They ain't gonna give up all that. He draft looks great there. in the Niner uniform. Earth, and he said, "Yeah, dude, Niners, what a fucking deal for them, dude. That was awesome." That's what I'm saying, man, they just. I was happy for both. I was happy for both teams in that one. No, that's cr- that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. All right, cricket. Tell us about their draft. Well, with so the they number- ended up, they ended up, they ended up uh, using some of that draft capital that they had and trading up. Trade from, up. I think they were slated at nine, and they traded up with Chicago, right? Um, I think they were at nine, I, and they traded. Is that what happened? Mm-hmm. Let's go with it. I'm well, the sure Texans. Right. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Chicago. That's right. Chicago had it because the Texans blew. I was thinking the Texans had number one for some reason, but no, no. Thanks, Lovey Smith. Oh, hold on, my bad. I missed the YouTube side of things. Derpy's in the house. Uh, so Malik Cunningham is the goat now, huh? Patriots fans, he scored on a, on backups to the Texans. Yeah, dude, he's the truth. You see him out there? He juked the shit out of those guys. <laughs> he ain't afraid to get put his head down and get in there. <sighs> but the only get, thing that looked good on north, the Patriots. North and actually, south, actually, baby. Freaking Christian Gonzalez. Oh, how did he, how did he look, man? Draft? He looked good, man. Did I think he? he forced a fumble. He had three tackles on only okay. like uh, – on like eighteen snaps much. or something like yeah, that. They probably didn't play much. Okay. Yeah, it was. Yeah. That dude's gonna be a player, man. That's a good pick. That's a good pick. Uh, be if a- the Panthers can't win with Cam Newton in his prime, they won't ever do anything. I agree with that. Whoa, those are fighting words. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> oh man, All right, let's well, talk about the draft. They, like Will said, traded up to get that number one overall pick from the Chicago Bears. Bryce Young took their guy, man. That's who they wanted. The quarterback from Alabama, former Heisman Trophy winner. A little undersized, man. 5'10". Can you 15, see over those? Oh, what's that? 5'10". <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I get it. Took me a second. My bad. <laughs> but um, is he going to be the guy, man? What do you think? What, how do you feel about it? Let's talk about Bryce Young for a minute. How do you feel, man? Well, I, I think I talked about this a little bit the other day, yesterday maybe. Uh, I think – I think it's going to take a while to get used to. Um, I think it's going to take a while for him to get used to not just the game in the NFL level, but the size of these players. Because when you're that small, I mean, you have to, you know, unless you can just go. I mean, even Drew Brees, it took him a little while, right? And and, and yeah, Russell Wilson, but Russell Wilson could scramble around, and he used, he almost planned on screen. He almost didn't try to fight the pocket. He tried to make the pocket move with him yeah. um early on. And I think that's why he had success with it. But I don't know. I think I think it's going to be a little bit of a struggle early on uh for Bryce Young. Yeah, I see I see Derp over here. Bryce Young will be Kyler Murray. He ain't got near the scrambling ability Kyle, Kyler mm-hmm. Murray does. Well, of course mm-hmm. about nobody has a scrambling ability that Kyler Murray has. Uh, when he's his healthy. legs move so fast when he's like it's, it's it's straight like video game stuff, man. I remember that one play last year he ran like they were on like the four yard line or something. He ran like thirty five yards and then completed a touchdown pass or something crazy. It's, it's unreal. I don't know. That guy's crazy. But Bryce Young cannot scramble quite that well. Um, I have seen this guy yes, play sir. in person, man. I got to see him take the L last year in Knoxville. But dude's pretty incredible, man. Say this this the way he sees the field, his reaction time, his instincts. Dude just got a good head on his shoulders, man. He really is a bright, bright guy. Got a lot of physical attributes other than his height. But he's still got a good arm. I'm anxious to see how he does, but there's going to be a learning curve, man. There always is for these guys. Absolutely. Absolutely. Over on the Rumble side of things, we got someone new in the chat. Fadenever1997. He says, say my name. <laughs> Dude, I tried. I'm terrible at this. He says, hello. Uh, good morning, buddy. Good morning, Dan, ten, Denver 1997. I'm going to come up with a nickname. Let's uh, Fa, we're gonna call you Fa. Fa, what's, what's up, Fa? Fa? My man. <laughs> <laughs> With the oh, eighth boy. pick in the second round, Jonathan Mingo, wide receiver out of Ole Miss, 6'2, 220. He was the number five. Is he re- related to, uh, I wonder if he's related to, um, what was it? Uh, I'm pretty sure he, I'm pretty sure he's, I think he's, I think he's a younger brother because I'm pretty sure that Mingo, I think he went to Ole Miss too, didn't he? No, he went to LSU. Oh, huh, well. Maybe. I don't know. You have to look and see. I don't know if he uh... – Good morning, Fah. Yeah, this dude's been down there for a while. He's a, he's solid, man. 
He's built like a big running back more than anything. It's a uh, strength with the ball. He doesn't, doesn't fumble, man. He's got he's got some some pythons on him. He's real good at protecting the ball. Uh, catches a lot of balls in space. He could be a player. I think he's going to step in and have to be because they don't have a lot of weapons. They don't have a lot of guys to throw to. So I think this guy's going to have to step in in the lineup pretty early on. He's going to get some reps. So we'll have to see. At eighty five grade, man. I mean, this guy is a pretty good ball player. He went right around where he was supposed to. But uh, I think they did what did well here. They didn't have a lot in this, man. They only had five picks in this draft. 17th pick in the third round. DJ Johnson, the outside linebacker from Oregon. He's got a good combination of size and speed, man. This guy's been a lot of fun to watch. I've watched him play with the Ducks for a little while. And he's strong enough to set the edge against the run. But a lot of people don't realize that for the linebacker, you need to be able to drive those linemen back into the backfield and try to set that run, stone some of those guys. This guy can do that, man. He's 6'4", 260 playing linebacker. That is a monster linebacker right there. So I, I think I think I think they got some good values with these picks, man. Twelfth pick in the fourth round, Chandler Sabala, offensive guard from NC State. That was a key need they needed to address. Pretty good pick right here. Third ranked overall guard, eighty six over ranked eighty six overall ranked player. I think they Damn, did good. getting the third ranked at a position in the fourth round. Yeah, yeah, man. And it was like a good that, offensive line draft. They, and that was uh, one of the big needs they needed to address. And their last pick was the 11th pick in the fifth round, Jamie Robinson, the safety from Florida State. Um, don't know a lot about this guy. I, I, I've watched some of Florida State's games last year, but it's, this, he doesn't. He didn't do anything to stand out to me. But they obviously like something. They're a little undersized for my safety. I like my safeties to be over six foot. This guy's only 5'11", 191. Um, but just have to see. Not not a lot of capital in this thing, though, but some solid picks, I think. Dude, How I you think feel, they man? got some good young I think they got some good young players. Frank yeah. Rack's gonna coach these boys up. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it takes, man. Get those guys. I mean, you goals. can't you can't you can't get mad at anyone who ended up they went for a franchise quarterback, right? So they had the number one overall pick. They traded up, they did it, and uh we'll see. We'll see. You know, we'll see, man. We'll see. They got all, all their eggs in one basket. They sure do. They sure do. I think it was. I think it was a solid draft by them, though, for what they what they were for what they had. Yeah, for sure. Now, some of these free agent moves are very, very questionable. Um, they signed old ass Adam Thielen to three years, twenty five million. Uh, he's thirty three and he looks he looks his age out there. Man. I'm sorry, I thought I thought this was like his twenty sixth season in the league or something. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, but they got Miles Sanders. Uh, good little, good little pickup there. How, how, um, you think about that? how you feel about that? How do you feel about well, Miles Sanders? I, I wasn't ever too high on Miles Sanders, but I mean, I'm happy for the dude. We're talking about I mean, all these yeah, running backs. Sure, he can't get any contracts. Sure. He's 26 years old and they got four years, 25 million. Pay them. Yeah, money. yeah. They, they paid him, but I mean, from a from a, a playing standpoint, on field standpoint, do you think he can be a productive running back? I don't think. He's, right I don't think. I don't think he's that good. I agree. I agree. I've never been high on him, man. When people come at me, so I like to ask people how they feel about it. I was like, I think the uh, Eagles did good. He's on There's the a reason they didn't resign bring, him. You yeah, know? and bringing DeAndre Swift, I think they they upgraded. Yeah, uh, they signed Von Bell though. I don't think that was a bad move. They I like Von Bell, man. Von Bell's a local boy. He's I, from like East, uh, I like that. I like that. He's on the road. Sorry, Will. safety was no. You're good. Safety was a need. They signed him. They draft. <clears throat> Sorry, they drafted a safety, right? So they got a young guy coming in, getting some uh, working under uh, Bell here. Some, so they're going to have some veteran leadership there. So I didn't think that was bad at all. And Hayden Hurst bringing in a, a tight end. It's always good to have a solid tight end for a rookie quarterback. I like Hayden Hurst too. Me too. He's had some injury injury troubles here and there. Had some last year, but if he can stay on the field, man, he's a solid solid option there. Tight end. God, what a name, Shy Tuttle. That's a Tennessee boy, bro. That's a ball. Put some respect on that. <laughs> That's a sweet name, dude. He's a beast, too, bro. He's a beast. Yeah, well, and he got paid. He got himself That's some right. money. Three years, almost $20 That's million. Right. That's right. I was going to say, Who's damn, Brad? I we just talked about him, but that's because we talked about the Saints the other day. That's where he came from. Bradley right? Bozeman. Yeah, Bradley Bozeman. Once again, another another in-division signing. Like All these yeah. guys, they just stay in their division. It's crazy. Uh, it's kind of weird how many of those guys do that. The biggest signing of the offseason, though, for the Carolina Panthers is they got the red rifle, Andy Dalton. Andy Dalton out there at 35 years old talking his shit. He's saying that he is still one of the best 32 uh, uh, quarterbacks in the world and that he should be a starter. I love it. I love it when the red rifle gets fired up. That's right. I mean, that could be, you know, Bryce Young coming in this thing, not a big guy. That offensive line's not great. 
Andy Dalton might have to wind up taking some snaps in this thing. Dude, they spent some money. They got Justin Houston. Look at that. They got just they added they spent some Good money time. in the obviously. They had some money to spend. Justin Houston. They got DJ Chark, a little wide receiver for your young rookie quarterback. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I don't hate, yeah, I don't hate DJ Shark. Yeah, dude. Who else did they get? Uh oh, they got a kicker. Look at that. Look at our kicker. Hey. Two years, 41 or 41, 40 or 4 million. All right. Eddie Pinier. Hey. Hey, I don't recognize that name, man. Who did he kick for last year? Oh, Carolina. Oh, no, he kicked for Carolina. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I guess they just re-signed their kicker. Okay. Yeah. Uh, lose Dante mm-hmm. Foreman. And lose Corey, Corey Littleton. Littleton. Yeah. yeah. Um, see if I have any other names down here. Ooh, they signed Eric Rowe. He used to play for the Pats. Okay. Good veteran safety. Yeah, okay. I don't see any other names here that really – Rock they signed the Michael Jordan. Oh man, he's back. He, he still plays. Still plays guard too. <laughs> yeah. No, I think uh, they had money to spend. They spent it. I think they they beefed up that defense. Uh, definitely so with some veterans. Um, and they, they always have been playing well defensively. Anyways, I just can't believe Adam Thielen was their biggest sign. This <laughs> like money wise, him and Sanders. They gave that man three years. You got fifty million. million. You got fifty million in Adam Thielen and Miles Sanders. Wow, that's why they're going to be terrible. I mean, but we got to look at the guaranteed. It's only fourteen million guaranteed and eleven million guaranteed, but still, it's only three million. No, I guess fourteen yeah. or thirteen, but still, only three million. I mean, I guess if I guess if I guess if you got money to spend, you got to spend it. Patriot four one six five is in the house. He says, "Hey y'all, what up, buddy?" What's up, mate? Adam D-line D-line will never, uh, he'll never play out that contract in Carolina. He'll probably D-line. play this year. Did you just call him Thieline? Thieline. 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 <laughs> he's he's Adam feeling Thieline. it, bro. Adam he's Thieline. Thieline. He ain't going to play that contract out, man. He's going to get this year. He might, get cut. he might get cut for the season, though. What? No way. Not with $14 million guaranteed. They're going to at least ride that way for one season. Yeah, yeah. You're probably right. Yeah, I'll ride it for one season. You're right. But if he's yeah. just garbage, though. I mean, there's only three million cap next year. Probably goes up pretty good after that. And if he's over there with ten catches for 112, no, yards, that's this season. He's only three point three against the cap this season. That's what so I'm saying. they would so still, next year it's they would go still, up. yeah, but they won't cut him next year because if they guaranteed fourteen million and he's only they've only paid him uh, three million, three point three million that's on the cap, I, yeah, they're still almost eleven million that they need to account for. Yeah, and they're not going to do that dead cap. I see what you're saying now. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. They, they said the well, potential out is half money. Yeah. So the like that's why the potential potential out there says two years, eighteen point two five million. So that's you probably where they're going to cut him. Right. Fair enough. Unless he just goes off, man. Maybe he's got. Maybe he's got some still in the tank. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe this. Re, you know. Revitalizes him a little. Bit. Hey, you think my, you think we're talking about Michael Jordan? You think Michael Jordan and Phil ever bet together? Oh yeah, sounds like Phil bet with everybody. I bet Phil bet on Michael Jordan. Jordan's bet on Phil. I mean, you know, how, how many strokes you think uh, Phil give Michael on the on the links? <laughs> I got to figure as much, as much golf as Michael Jordan's played at this point. You got to be pretty decent. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Probably many as he wants. Right. Jordan probably yeah. wouldn't take it. Jordan's probably too competitive to take it. You know what I mean? Oh, you're so right. He told, I don't want enough. Yeah, yeah, I don't fuck want you. your fucking charity. Yeah. Get out of here. Yeah, he'll be like, yeah, all right, old I'll man, you straight up for half a meal. Let's go. <laughs> I'm down because I lost 43 baseball bets yesterday. Let's play. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Captain Faderville. Oh man! Oh, he didn't lose forty three. He made forty three bets. Lost. Oh, but like lost forty three thousand. So yeah, which but listen, if he is a hundred thousand dollar a unit better, it's not that bad of a day, really. It's like a hundred dollar better being down just a hundred and forty dollars on the day. You know, you that's think, you think he bet a hundred thousand dollars on every one of them games. That's what it looked like. Did you see how many he, he was? Uh, I'm saying unit size like four point three million in play in one day. Oh yeah. Well, it don't really surprise me that he got to a billion then. <laughs> That's what yeah, I'm saying. You, you really ain't got to work that hard to do all that if you're betting like that. 
<laughs> dude earth ending i know exactly how you feel <laughs> i did get waxed though he says sure glad bet online was down for maintenance yesterday morning i would have gotten waxed in the morning games well I, I was able to place a bet right before the games uh started and yeah fuck the minnesota twins dude fuck the twins yep i don't we, care what the analytics say about them anymore fuck the twins we talk yep i'm with you man i'm with you <laughs> Anyways. 100 <laughs> percent anyways <laughs> yeah we digress football football, football. What? all right what should we set the over under at this is my favorite part of the day oh yeah this is fun you hey you got set at three and a half thing. again should we set at three and a half again uh, I, I, I don't know man yesterday. you got four you got four yesterday it's, it's up to you set the line man i'll take my pick mm, i'm gonna set it at three and a half again under no faith. I feel, I feel like this is going to be three, man. I feel like you're hitting right on three right here. If I could bet the exact An exacta, wins, yeah, I'd bet the three right here. Three is a uh, plus three fifty. Oh, I mean, three give me exacta. that full unit, <laughs> full, full unit. Full unit. <laughs> this is a, you shouldn't have told me that though. Now I might throw it. <laughs> oh shit! I, damn. To help you win, you know that. Hey, see, we're betting on our sport, man. You can't do that. <laughs> Uh, all right Petra four and six five says the over and under should be four and a half that's a lot man i thought so too i thought you guys so. the I mean, under would be massively favored there uh yeah i'd have to lay a lot yeah let's keep you guys it, have too much you guys have too much faith three and a half. let's keep it three and a half and i'll go ahead and uh i want to lay all that juice okay okay and plus 350 for the exact on uh the yeah, exact i'm betting both of them I'm okay. betting a full unit on both of them, just the straight under and the exact three. I like it. I like it. I like it. Right. All right. <laughs> oh, let me got to find the odds real quick. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, at, so they open the season up at Hotlanta. You think I would remember this um, from the Atlanta stuff? <laughs> uh, this Atlanta... Should be four and a half. We just did this team yesterday. You should know some of these lines. I, I totally forget him. <laughs> you guys know I know. I know. I keep thinking you're gonna remember some of them, and every time I'm like, nope, he didn't. <laughs> nope, nope. Just like once it's done, it's gone. Okay. Um, at Atlanta, Atlanta should be a one point favorite in this one. Panthers plus three at the Falcons plus one forty on the money line. Falcons minus one eighty five. Damn. Oh, Field I keep goal. forgetting. Sorry, I keep forgetting. I I was thinking. I don't know why I keep forgetting. Atlanta and, and Carolina are viewed similar similar i was thinking saints anyways so they're gonna be home against the saints uh the saints one point favorites panthers plus one at home against the saints minus got 105 one. got one saints minus 115 i can't decide if i want I, I don't see i don't even know how who i'm rooting for i right need now. a bell i, I kind of want you to miss the first like three or four but it may not be bad to get that one jerpy makes a good point they're winning the Super Bowl. They got Michael Jordan on their team. Damn right. Facts. Damn right. All that man does win rings. Let's see. Do I have? Um, uh, oh, man, I need to get a sound in here. Damn it. What are you doing? Oh. I was trying to get like a, like a, I was looking for when I get one right, like something like this. I'm, oh, right, right. I got you. I got you. Apple, right. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. I need, I need that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we'll find one. I'm gonna think of that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna think of that. I'm gonna find us a sound for that. <laughs> They're at Seattle. Seattle four and a half point favorites. Hooked him. Panthers plus four at the Seahawks. Plus one sixty on the money line. Seahawks minus one ninety two. The first hook of the day. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Oh, we forgot to set the over. Oh, no, I, was thinking, I was like, damn, we should have set those too. All right. Game's oh, already kicked off. We got to keep going. Yeah. Okay. Home against Minnesota. Uh, home against Minnesota. Home against Minnesota. Uh, hmm. Minnesota two point favorites. Hooked him. Panthers plus one and a half at home against yeah, the Vikings. Even money on the money line. Vikings minus 120. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I enjoy it. Nothing, right. nothing makes me happier on this morning show. Where are you getting these odds from, huh? Where, <laughs> I'm just, just you know, y'all know where I get mine from, but nothing makes me happier than when you miss it by hook. Nothing. It wasn't near as fun before we said these over-unders. Now I enjoy it. 
<laughs> oh man. Okay. Uh, at Detroit. So four. Uh, Detroit four point favorites. I knew you weren't going to get this one because you'd never say this number. Panthers plus five at the Lions plus one seventy on the money line. Lions minus two hundred five. I don't think you've ever in the history of this thing guessed a five point. I've guessed five, but I've never gotten a five right. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, yeah. so I don't, I don't yeah. remember you really saying it much, though. It's such a weird number. Yeah, because you usually put it at four and a half. I was just thinking, though, I, I see Seattle and Detroit, Detroit as like similar. So I was like, okay, well, there are four on the road in Seattle, so they'll probably be four on the road in Detroit. Yeah. It's not. Guess not. Then they're at Miami. Um, Miami bad travel spot Miami six point favorites Panthers plus seven at the Dolphins plus 235 Damn. on the money line Dolphins minus 290 okay then early bye week which might not be bad for all these all these young guys coming in then they'll be home against Houston Panthers uh two and a half point favorites yes hooked him Panthers minus three at home against the Texans minus 148. Three. On the money line, Texans plus one twenty four. Son, son of a bitch! That's See, when you say yes, when you say yes, I'm like, ah. you should, no, no, you, you're you, excited because you, I'm getting hooked. <laughs> it's not that I'm rooting against you; I'm just rooting for me. Hey, you you got money on this, man. You got that's money right. On this, yeah. <laughs> big sweat, big sweat. <laughs> right, right. Home against Indy, uh, Panthers two point favorites. Yes. Panthers minus two and a half at home against Jesus. the Colts minus one thirty on the money line. Colts plus one ten. Oh man! And then up at Chicago Thursday night short week after back to back division games. Got to go up to Chicago and take on Justin Fields. Ooh, Chicago two point favorites. Man, I was wanting you to throw that hook in there. Panthers oh, plus dude. two at the Bears plus one hundred five on the money line. Two, Bears two, minus one twenty five. That's two. That's two. That's two. And they're going to be home against Dallas. Dallas and Panthers. Dallas and Panthers. Dallas and Panthers. Dallas, five point favorites. Panthers plus three and a half. I knew I was going to talk you into that Ooh. one of these times. Panthers plus three and a half at home against the Cowboys. Plus 150 on the money line. Cowboys minus 180. Cowboys only laying three and a half there. Hmm. Interesting. I, I, I see you, 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 you. Took you took the bait, man. I was one. I was one of you. I was I probably one of the other five point one on this entire thing. I was hoping you'd throw it out there one time. No, you're saying that because there is one. You can see them all. I, re- I, really, I, honestly, I really don't know. I really don't know because I'm like scrolling down as we go, so I really haven't looked. <laughs> uh huh. Sure. Sure. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Let's see what you're doing here. Yeah. Little mind games. You're trying to tamper with the guy. I like it. It's what the Patriots get are doing. Edge just just kind of you know, not illegal, but it's borderline. I like it. I got to get an edge wherever I can. We're all about that value. Patriot 4 and 6 size says, lock that one in for the Cowboys. I think you're right there, buddy. And also, you might as well lay the three and a half now because I'm pretty sure it's not going to be three and a half when we get to that yeah. game. You're probably lucky to get under a touchdown. Okay. Sunday after Thanksgiving. No. Yeah. Sunday after Thanksgiving, these boys probably ate a lot of turkey. They just hosted Dallas, got whooped up by Dallas, got ate a lot of food. Now they got to go to Tennessee, man. Ooh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Tennessee, nice, but ten- mm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Tennessee three point favorites. Panthers plus one at the Titans minus one hundred five. Damn it, give me too much credit. Titans minus one fifteen. I knew they were bad, but I was like, ah, it's home for Tennessee. God, damn. that means the Panthers are projected to be better than the Titans. Damn, dude, the Titans. What's going on? They're. Dude, they got three. I, I don't. I think they're underrated. I really do. I don't see any way they're going to be as bad as they're projected. So then they got to go to Tampa Bay Panthers. Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay Panthers. 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 I think the hook's going to get me here, but Panthers one and a half point favorites. Man, I my Buccaneers actually are favored in the game. Holy Panthers, shit! Panthers plus one at the Bucks minus one hundred five on the money line. Buccaneers no minus one fifteen. I didn't think I've not seen my Bucks be favored in a game. That's the first one I've seen yet. And they've usually been pretty big dogs, so that surprises me. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. All right, then they got to go to New Orleans. Uh, uh, New Orleans, three-and-a-half-point favorites. Ding, ding, ding. Panthers, plus three-and-a-half at the Saints, plus 150 on the money line. Saints, minus 180. 
four picks left, Cricket, and your your exacta is right. Do I throw the game? Do I throw the game and help you cash, or do do we hit the over? I guess we're gonna find I, out. So, I don't want anybody throwing anything. Y'all don't fuck with my sweats. Okay, okay. Well, what will happen? So they're happen. home against Atlanta. Uh, Panthers have to be a twenty five point favorite in this one. I'm just kidding. I started to say it real fast so you couldn't get another guess in there. Uh, <laughs> Okay, home against Atlanta. So we start off the Atlanta. Okay, Atlanta home, home against Atlanta. Panthers, uh, two and a half point favorites. Panthers minus one at home against the Falcons. Minus 115 on the money line. Falcons minus 105. Some bitch. All right. Home against Green Bay. God, this one's tough. This one, I'm having a real struggle of what I think Green Bay is going to be and what the market thinks Green Bay is going to be. But I would guess the Panthers are a one-point favorite. Wrong way, sir. Panthers plus one at home against the Packers. Minus 105 on the money line. Packers minus 115. Damn. Okay. Then they got to go to Jacksonville at Jacksonville. Jacksonville home, hosting the Panthers. Jacksonville, everyone's high in Jacksonville. Who did we look at earlier that had them there? Ooh, boy, oh, boy. Who were they seven-point dot? That was Miami. Is Jacksonville viewed the same as Miami? Probably not. Jacksonville six point favorites. Panthers plus five at the Jaguars plus one seventy. On the money line. I was gonna say. Five. Hey, I swear I didn't know there was another one. I swear I didn't. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, it comes down to your Tampa Bay Bucks. It comes down to your Let's Tampa go. Bay Bucks. Are they gonna ruin this for you again? Oh man, come on! Let's go. <laughs> okay. Last game of the season. Could be a lot on the line here. They're home against Tampa Bay. See, I don't even remember what the line was at Tampa Bay. I know I got it right. I know I got it right there. Um, uh, so we can flip. No, that. you didn't. No, you didn't. Because remember, Tampa Bay, that's oh. the only game they were favored in. Oh, that's right. Now you help me remember. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Tampa Bay, home against Tampa Bay. Uh, Panthers. Oh, man. I have a feeling the hook's going to get me here, but Panthers, two and a half point favorites. Fuck me, man. Yeah. No way you get that. I totally yes. screwed that up. Look at me Jeez. bad beating myself, man. So Panthers good. minus two and a half at home against the Buccaneers. Minus 130 yeah. on the play line. Bucks plus 110. Oh, two man. days in good a game. row, baby. Good game, man. That's good a good game. over-under. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Golly, that is good over-under. <laughs> I think that's where we got to leave the set. Dad it. you would ruin my. See, that's where I get the last second trash field goal to kill all my parlays. God, that is it, and it's your team. I, I know, of course, they, they, of course, it is. Why wouldn't it be? Oh, They've been man. letting me down gently, not so gently. Oh. Oh. Here's a here's a little uh, runner up prize for you. If you got some tick old baggies and you don't know how to swing, well, I'm here to help you. Next, you want to tuck your right arm and lay your left arm on top of that mommy milker. Bombs away. There's 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 worse consolation prizes. Patriot four one six five says tried the four and a half but got rejected. Yeah, dude, because the four and a half under would have cashed with ease. You'd be laying a lot of juice. Yeah, a lot of juice with that. Minus one seventy or something. You got to think about that. I got to go. That means I would have to go five of seventeen. Exact. It's tough. I'll do. Man, I would have definitely. Uh, I would have definitely lost. I would have took the over on the hooks total and uh oh I yeah know, yeah i didn't like i didn't get many though. hooks today yeah, yeah. yesterday you had like nine i would have said it i would have said it at like six and a half yeah i think that would have been probably went over <laughs> i'm curious to how i'm going to do monday or well whenever we we do the next one uh we might be able to do it monday we'll see we'll see how it goes um with uh, your Tampa you Bay Bucks. We may not be. No, I mean, you need to focus on what you got going on Monday. Unless you just want to, man. You just want to get up and do no, it. No, I, I might. I might just get up in the morning and do it because I don't. everything's going to be packed up anyway. So, I mean, I, I don't got well, shit to do until the movers get there. You, man, I'll be right here. I, I we'll see. We'll can, see. I'm going to have to yeah. feel it out and see how the wife's you got feeling. The birthday stream. Hey, you need to go ahead and remind them about the birthday stream, man. Birthday stream, Sunday, uh, noonish Pacific time. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. We're cracking beers. I hear there might even be Jaeger. It's going yeah, to be fun. It's gonna be I'm, I'm gonna give me a little something. At least, to at least I know Tampa Bay is not favored in many games when I start picking the line. So <laughs> uh, the only That's one I've be... seen is that Panthers one. Yeah, and, so... I, I think, and I think they've got it wrong. I really do. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. And we'll see if I can remember that over the weekend. <laughs> Fair enough. 
fair enough. Or or the lines move on me over the weekend. <laughs> yeah, fair, yeah. I haven't seen any of these lines. I don't think any of these lines moving right now. Yeah, no, there's not enough money coming in on it. All right, all right. Um, let's see. What's uh? Fun, dude, that's my favorite segment of. of, of <laughs> I can I can day. tell you're still still pretty hype about it. Trying to relax a little bit, come back down. You feel good about bad beating me right there. It's okay. Yeah, I sure do. <laughs> I sure do. <laughs> I sure do. <laughs> sorry, I'm not sorry. Uh, I just like we made a game out of this. Like yeah, we were doing it, and now now we're like, hey, we got like before we got it, was, it was getting kind of redundant. Oh, and I'm sitting here, I'm like, uh, uh, but now I'm having a lot of fun with this. I'm really mad <laughs> we didn't do this the whole time. <laughs> it's all right. Hey, now we know going forward. Now we, now know. we know. Now we know. Okay, uh, NFC South, the Panthers plus three fifty. Hey, speaking of the exacta plus three fifty, Panthers plus three fifty to win the division. What do you think about that? I think they've already gotten me on one plus three fifty. I'm going to leave that one alone. Okay. I, I don't know, man. I, this division so wide. This division and the, the AFC South and the NFC South, I, I don't know. I don't think there's enough value on the favorites, and it's just too much of a question mark for me. I, I don't think that – I would have to really probably sprinkle a full unit on one of those to feel good about getting enough value back from it, and I just can't see me doing that on either one of these. B-Day ba- Earth innings says B-Day Bash and Bust Crapolo at the same time. Yeah, we're going to have football games going on too. So, yeah, that's right. Gonna- it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun time. That's fun right. Time. My wife asked what I wanted to do on my birthday, and I go, um, pack, make sure everything's ready to go for the next day. And I go, and I want to do a stream. <laughs> drink, boys beer, are drink beer, yeah. talk sports. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then I said some other things to her that I want to do as well, but we're gonna keep that between her and I. You know? <laughs> Say, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> well, this is PG family network, man. <laughs> Carolina, did you see eight wins? I didn't see eight wins. The over is favored there at minus one twenty five. I didn't see eight wins in that schedule. I, I don't think I see eight, man. Let me let me get it pulled up here real quick on mine so I can just look at it. But I don't think I see eight. I don't see it. I know if I see eight wins from any team in that division. If I'm Dude, being look, at that, look at look look at that first six weeks. I'm not. It's not too crazy to say they could be zero and six. Let's see. Here. I'm just not getting it pulled up. Uh, they, yeah, they play Atlanta. They could be they could beat Atlanta, but they got to go to Atlanta, so that's always tough. And it's Bryce Young's uh, first game of his career. And then you got the Saints, you got <laughs> Seattle, you got Minnesota, you got Detroit, and you got Miami. By the way, you got Seattle, Detroit, and Miami on the road. That could be well, that is six. A, that is a tough schedule. I was too focused on whether you were getting the lines right or not to really <laughs> pay attention. To that as well. You're gonna give me under seven and a half at what is that minus one hundred five? I might make that bet today. Yeah. Yeah, I don't blame you. I mean, I I don't see eight wins here. They got to go to Jacksonville. Got to go to Tennessee. Don't know where I have Tennessee. Got to go to Chicago. Another team question mark. Got to go to Chicago on a short week. Thursday night football there. Patriot four one six five says five wins feels like charity. I know. How the hell is this set at seven and a half? I think it's I think it's because the hype around Bryce Young and the hype around Frank Wright. Uh, yeah, I mean, I. I I get that. I mean, I get the hype around them, but I don't get it to the point. I'm that curious what Robert thing. would think of this. I, I, I'm curious what he would think if he could find a way to see what what the market's in. I, that's the only thing that I could say. They've got a good defense. They bought it. You know, they brought in. They bought a good defense, and they got a number one overall pick, and they got Frank Wright. So maybe they're a little bit higher on that than than, I'm than pretty, most people. I'm pretty sure Uncle Bob is a big uh, Frank Wright fan as well. I feel like I've heard him yeah. talk and say good things about him in the past. So he. Good I don't quarterback know. coach. Good quarterback coach. Yeah, very, very good quarterback coach. But my, my thing is, you can only do so much until you get some of those other pieces implemented around him. The offensive mm-hmm. line is not great. If you don't have weapons on the outside, the defense seems like it's going to be solid. That's probably going to be the better, uh, the better group, the defensive side, I believe. But I don't know. We'll see, man. I think that that's but, too dude, that's high. a tough first six weeks, man. Tough. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You only got to lay one of. 105. I mean, yeah, to go under. Like I said, they're they're actually ju- juiced to the over. That's crazy. I don't understand here. I don't, I don't get it. I don't I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give that out. I'm gonna give that out over on Sports Fix. Uh, uh, I'm gonna bet it, and then I'm gonna give it out under seven and a half wins. Carolina Panthers. Yeah, I like that. I like that, man. Like I said, it's a the division is gonna be bad, but they're all gonna be equally as bad. 
So it's not like anybody's going to just run through anybody. It's going to be a bunch of close, terrible games. Dude, that's going to be like the, the, the wide receiver <laughs> draft this year. <laughs> they go own six, and then you just start seeing them winning them off one after another, and it's like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yep. oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. It's a sweat now. <laughs> sure, sure, shit. They'll well, have seven going into week 18. <laughs> against your t- against your bucks where they're favored i don't like your chances that's what to say if they're at seven going to week 18 i don't like your spot <laughs> lay you're saying lay it with, <laughs> up there, lay especially, it with especially since we might have a reason to not play our starters because we're up there for that number one we're not levy smithing it ain't happening mm-hmm. we ain't even taking no chances man we'll knee on it every time oh my god <laughs> all right let's see conference futures if you're really if you you like them to go over seven and a half wins and win and head to the Super Bowl. You can get the <laughs> Carolina Panthers at I'm in the wrong division, uh, thirty three to one to go to the Super Bowl. Mm. I wouldn't bet that if it's ten thousand to one. Yeah, and then if you really like them, I mean, you think they're going to win the whole thing? And the first rookie quarterback. Uh, ever to win a Super Bowl in his first, you know, I guess it would be his first season because he's a rookie. Uh, you can get 80 to 1 on that. Something that's never happened before, you can get 80 to 1 on. Unless you think the Red Rifle is going to come in at some point in the season and be the savior. That's what I'm saying. I don't think they've odds are high enough. You got something. You yeah, have the Red Rifle. You, you're a big Andy Dalton fan, huh? Oh, dude, I love it. I love Andy Dalton. The Red solid, Rifle. Dude, been a journeyman in the league, bro. He's always been solid. He never just. He, he can go in the game and give your team a chance to win. He's not going to, he's usually not going to be the guy that beats you. And sometimes Cricket, that's all you got to have your quarterback do is just be the guy that doesn't beat you. Cricket, explain to the viewers once again for the third time in this division why to make the playoff odds are so wrong here. To make the playoffs, yes, is plus 180. Yes, is plus, yes, is plus 180. No, man. Mm-hmm. The only thing you got to take that plus 350. Because the only way they're there making the is. playoffs is if they win the division. There ain't two teams coming exactly. out of the division. So if you're going to bet on them to make the playoffs, do not take that 175. Go ahead, bet them to win the division, take the plus 350, and get twice the twice as good odds on that. Yeah, that's smart. That's that's sharp stuff. Sometimes we throw some sharp things around. Hey, all right. Speaking of sharp, remind me to talk about the sharps when you get to baseball. Because <laughs> I don't think they're sharp worth a shit can tell by your tone of voice only only two picks i won yesterday the sharps were against <laughs> me and i went with the sharp with the fucking disastros i don't think those sharps know shit <laughs> told you I'm, i've gotten pretty good at figuring out when the sharps are wrong on that oh they were terrible they were i don't know if you looked at they were really bad yesterday really bad yeah well i what think they, they say I think about they a blind squirrel five out of six or something <laughs> what'd you say what do they say about a blind squirrel yeah every now and then <laughs> yeah, every once in a while. Um, oh, I guess we got to look at uh, offensive rookie of the year, right? Yeah, yeah. Bryce Young, second favorite, plus four hundred. I still like that CJ Stroud. I still do. I, yeah, that, yeah. That's Bryce Young, second favorite. I just don't. I mean, they're really expecting this man to come out and just do what he's been doing in Alabama, and yeah, like I mean. I know the guy's a great player, but it just doesn't happen like that, guys. It just doesn't. Earth ending says straight bets, bro. Little profits better than a loss. Yeah, it's just not as fun. <laughs> That's right. You're, you're right. You are exactly right, man. It's, it's you're 100 percent correct. You got to treat it like a day trader, man. Small investments get small returns. Build that account over time, but boy, it feels fun to hit those plus four thousands and stuff. I like to I like to do my straight bets, but I like to throw in one parlay every now and then. And of late, I've been parlaying a lot more than I normally do. It's just but, just a little bit, not nothing a little crazy, just a little sprinkle. We're gonna put a little bit on it. And then, uh, we can do more them, than fifty uh, bucks on it. Yeah, we could tell them this though, man. Yeah, you uh you have your straight bets and you're gonna use your full units and stuff on that. But when you're betting these bigger odds, you gotta change it up, man. Go down to your half units, your quarter units, and stuff like that. You can't be betting the same amount on your minus one tens as you can on your plus twenty five hundreds, or you're gonna go broke, man. It's hard to hit plus 2,500. That's the reason the odds so big. So you got to put things like quarter units on there so you can take four picks at plus 2,500 and have four different chances to be, get a good return back versus putting a whole unit on at one on something that, beyond honest, is probably not going to hit. Or you'd be like me, dumbass in baseball, who just puts two units on a plus 1,000. Wow. That's what I've been doing. One, he just doubled up. 
Wow. I just look at it and I'm like looking at it and I just go, eh, I'll throw one. Uh, I'll either throw 25 or I'll throw 50 on it. And lately I've just been like, ah, let's do it. Let's do 50 to win, win 500 because it'll make me feel good yeah. when the 500 yeah. comes back, you know? Yeah. Let me <laughs> do it. Think. Yeah. I don't want to, I don't want to do $10 on it. I'm like, eh. Ten dollars to win a hundred. I mean, that's nice. It's nice. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, but whatever. Yeah, man. Yeah. We're getting a little, but I, you know, that's not advice, people. That's not advice. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, we we'll let you know. Just because we do it, we'll tell. Don't do as we do. Do as we say, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, it's stupid. All right. Yeah, yeah. That's, 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 in your defense, you did tell them it was stupid. <laughs> yeah, I always say that too when I over on Sports Fix when I do a parlay. I go, this is very dumb. Do not do this. But if you do do it, let's ride. You said do do, do do. Cricket Beatrice four one six five says Cric- cricket's catching on. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Uh, I'm a quick learner. You be the man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Anyways, like, I'm just thinking of all the dumb picks. Hey, what's Frank Anyways, Wright, gotta... Coach of the year. What's Frank Wright? Ooh, coach of the year. Real good one. Good one. Good one. Good one. And then we gotta get your pick from you too. Um, coach. Oh, yeah, I didn't get mine yesterday. I gotta give that one too. Mm-hmm. Frank Reich is 25 to 1. Doesn't feel like enough. Yeah, I can see. I can see sprinkling one of them little quarter units on that. Because if they little do wind up winning that division, I think he is coach of the year. Screw it. Let's put 50 bucks on it. <laughs> <laughs> quarter unit. No, let's just do two times unit. Two times full unit versus a quarter one unit. Yeah, let's just go, man. Go with that, it. Because then you get but, you get 50 units coming back, you know? But That's think nice. about it. If they win this division, he's got to be coach of the year, right? Go from know, number dude, one overall dude. pick. Go from the number one overall pick to, I mean, granted, you had the ninth overall pick, but go from that to win the division in just a year, in your first I year. Think I'd, I think I'd rather bet the plus 350 they win the division just because there's so many things that can happen. Coach of the year, so, some team in, it could come I, out of nowhere and get the number one overall seed, and then that's the coach of the year. And well, and I, I don't know though. You got to look at some of these teams are going to get, the, well, if they come out of nowhere, yes. But if they're expected to be there anyway, and Frank Ryan. Look at like Dayball and the Giants. You know, they didn't even. Yeah, that's true. Know. But if you bet the plus three fifty for them to win division, you better go ahead and sprinkle a little bit on Frank Reich too, because I'm telling you, if they win that division, and as long as it's not like seven and ten or whatever, you know, but they wind up finding ten wins in there somewhere, I think the man's got to be coach of the year. There's not ten wins in there. No, 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 there's not. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's why they play the game. What's your pick? Uh, oh, what is my pick? Let's see, Bryce Young, two hundred seventy five plus pass yards. In eight plus regular season games, plus three hundred, they gonna sling that field. Man. They gonna sling that field with this guy. You're Even right. Miles Sanders, the guy that catches a lot of balls out of the backfield and things like that. Miles Sanders isn't the guy that's gonna carry it twenty five times a game. He might carry it fifteen and then catch four or five passes. So he's nice. gonna Bryce Young is gonna be throwing the pill around there, man. He can sling it. He's probably gonna work on. He's probably gonna have to complete a lot of short passes. They're probably not gonna be throwing it down the field too too much early on, so he doesn't just get eat up by some of those. NFL secondary, so he's probably gonna be a lot of short dink and dunk stuff, man. So I could see him putting up some some yardage here. Patriot four one six five says, "Is Bryce Young rookie of the year?" I don't think so. I, I think guess so. if you think they're gonna win the division, I mean, I don't. Say, well, unless he gets injured, and then yeah, I guess that's that's the injury risk, and someone else comes but in. Like he's the second uh second overall favorite to win it behind Bajan Robinson, but I don't know, man. I have rookie quarterback. It's so hard for me uh, the rookie quarterbacks and betting for. It's just such a big learning curve, man. And usually the mm-hmm. thing is, if you're a stud that has the ability to win the rookie of the year, you're probably on a bad team because you 